can I help you find anything? No thanks, just looking. The ad in the need in the paper said this sale had miscellaneous electronic. So we came here first, but I thought my way through three tables of jam jars, table clothes and old necklaces, and I have yet to see a single gadget. Are you looking for a gift for someone? Because I have some lovely teddy bear figurines over here. The watch, sale lady, points to a shelf with dozens of little ceramic bears. She walks over to them and pats one on the head as if she's the mama bear. Aren't these adorable? They are a terrific deal. She flashes me a smile like the ladies at jewelry counter what that used to shop for mom. Uh, no thanks. Ruby and Diana laugh and fish through a laundry basket full of stars. An ambulance siren wails getting louder and louder until it zooms past the driveway and down the street. Diana looks up from the stars for a second and frowns. Nona is home today, not at the center where she goes when Mr. and Mrs. Zales are working. Nona's memory has gotten a lot worse lately. It started with dumb stuff, cookies left in the oven too long, foul stiff in the fridge, but then last fall, she got really lost one afternoon. I know she worries about her. Do you like to read? The red sale lady shows a warm, warm copy of Charlotte's Web into my hand, I look down at the cover. Wilbur's laughing at me. So is Diana, who is trying on the, an orange jeweled frog pin from the jewelry table. I take a deep breath. Do you have any um electronics? The ad in the paper say. Oh, the rush sale lady lo looks sad all of a sudden. And George loves electronics, she blinks, really faster than size. I decided it was probably time to get rid of some of his things. Though, he passed away in April. I look at my shoes, what am I supposed to say? I didn't even know George. The rush sale lady screams at me. I get the feeling that even if she is selling George stuff, I'm going to have to pass some kind of test to prove myself worthy. What do I do, help her? Ruby says me. I'm sorry about your husband, she says, putting a hand on the woman's shoulder. My grandma died a year ago, and I miss her, too. Mom says it helps to share good memories. The right cell lady smiles a little. My George was a wonderful man. He could fix anything. So can Zip. Diana steps up to us, wearing the frog pin on the green hoodie and the purple beret on her head. He made an alarm for his backpack so Kevin Richards can get in to steal his math homework, homework anymore. He grabs my backpack and almost pulls me over trying to unzip it. Hoot, 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 the alarms go off. Ruby laughs and wanders away to flip through a box of albums. The rock sales lady raises her eyebrow. You remind me of George. She takes a deep breath and pulls a cardboard box from under the nearest table. I'm not even sure what he had in, that, in here, she says, opening the dusty flap. He used to tinker around in the basement for hours. He step, she steps aside and I bend down to look into the most amazing collection of gadgets and parts and pieces in the universe. It's deep heaven. There are wheels and motors, rows of wire, toggle switches and button switches, batteries of every voltage level, propellers, motherboards, from at least half a dozen computers. I look up at her. This is awesome. She smiles into the box. The 
right at me. Judge will have, will have like you, Ziggy. Zig, Diana, correct, sir. But I have a wave my hand. This lady can call me whatever she wants. I pulled out a clock radio. Georgie fixed this. Fixed. Georgie fixed that. The rat cell lady reached in and pulls out a string of Christmas lights. And this. Whenever I had trouble with the lights, she fiddled with them till they were good as new. Did he use aluminum foil? That's how I fixed our lights last year. Yes, the rat cell lady claps her hand. I dig deeper into Georgie's toy box. There's an AM, FM radio, an old phone, a few flashlights, some hole, some in pieces. Diana looks over my shoulder. The leopard print stuff she draped around her neck dangles down and tickles my arm. Hey, she reaches into the box and pulls out what looks like a little yellow radio. It's one of those things Mrs. Lawrence showed us in a science last week. A GPS unit? I reach out to take it from her. Does it work? It will need batteries, I imagine, corrupt so lady says. Georgie loved that thing. He said it was for some game. I bet he was a your touching, I say. Jenna snaps her fingers. Mrs. Loring talked about that. People hide stuff, Tupperware boxes, with little toys and things. Yep, I say. These are catches hidden all over the world. People enter the latitude and longitude coordinates on this website, and then other people use either their smartphones or a GPS unit to try to find the stuff. I hold up the GPS. This tells you how far away you are and then points you in the right direction. Do you play this game? The rat cell lady asks. Well, no. My dad's into it, though. He said it'd take me some time, but we haven't gone yet. Huh, the rat cell lady says. So what's this thing called? A GPS? GPS, it stands for Global Position System, I tell her. It sends out signals to satellites that are orbiting the Earth and uses the position of those satellites to tell you the exact longitude and latitude. Which is which again, Diana, who had wandered off into the wrecks of clothes. In fact, draped in a fur wrap that still has a fox head attached to one end. She reaches over and makes the fox sniff my ear. I always forget. I sweat the fox nose away and reach for a dusty globe on the table. I run my finger around the circumference. You know, lines of latitude and longitude are these imaginary lines that go all the way around the earth, I ask. Diana nods and reach over to spin the globe. Think about the word long. In longitude, someone whose tall is very long. So lines of longitude are the long lines that go up and down around the globe. Lateral means sideways. So lines in latitude go sideways around the globe. I turn back to the rat cell lady. And a GPS unit tells you your exact location by giving you longitude and latitude. We use this to play a game in science, Diana says. Mrs. Lauren gave us the latitude and longitude of a location near school and we had to enter it into our GPS units. Once you enter a location, your GPS tells you how far you are from that location and then give you an arrow, like a compass, showing which way you need to go to get there. We use ours to find a monument downtown. Well, how about that? The red lady shakes her head. Just amazing. 
You go ahead and take that dog, Ziddy. No judge. I'd like someone to appreciate it like George did. And frankly, I can't imagine anyone else wanting it. Thanks, I say. And pack up the box. Someone, some people don't know a treasure when they see one.